Okay, let's do this problem. Are we ready? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Uh, this one says, the retina of a human eye can detect light when radiant energy incident on it is at least 4.00 times 10 to the negative 17th joules. For light of 600 nanometer wavelength, how many photons does this correspond to? Okay, so I've written up there the relevant information that you're going to need. Or if that the um, problem gives you. Um, but how do we relate these things? Well, one thing you may remember is that there's an energy equation. Um, so, do you remember what that one is? No? Okay, so it's E equals NH frequency. NH frequency. You remember that one now? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Okay, and then do you remember the speed of light? Um, constant. Well, the constant, yeah, but the uh, equation for um, converting wavelength to frequency, because you're going to need that too. So it's frequency times, or wavelength times frequency equals the speed of light. Okay, so you need to know that. So in order to do these things, you're going to have to know the speed of light constant, which you alluded to. But you don't have to memorize that, okay? So um, I'll give that to you. But also H here, that's Planck's constant, okay? You have to be given that too. So 6.636 times 10 to the negative 34th joule seconds, okay? So if you don't remember those, um, don't worry, because they'll be given to you Okay, you just need to know where to plug them in. So, frequency is not here, okay? But we have a way to equate it to something that has wavelength in it, which we have over here, right? Yes. Okay, so let's rearrange this equation. So, frequency equals speed of light divided by wavelength, like that. Is that all right? So now we can plug that in for this. So we're going to have N H C over lambda, like that. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. So now let's just write this equation out. So E equals N H C over lambda, like that. Um, but one thing we want to realize is that this is in meters, right, and this is in nanometers, okay? So we're going to have to convert one to the other. I'll convert this to meters, okay? So when we do that, I'm going to multiply this, well, down here it's going to be 1 times 10 to the 9th, of course, nanometers per 1 meter. That's going to cancel and cancel like that, okay? So, when we do that, we should get 6.00 times 10 to the negative 7 meters, like that, okay? So, now let's rearrange this equation, because what are we looking for? We're looking for n. Okay, so we've got to rearrange this equation to be solving for n. So, um, let's do that. n equals e lambda divided by hc, like that, okay? So n is the number of photons. So e... Where do we get that from? Well, that's given to us in the problem. 4.00 times 10 to the negative 17 joules. Lambda, that's given to us. And, but we've converted it to meters here. Right? So 6.00 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. All divided by 
Planck's constant, 6.636 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds, like that. And then multiply that by the speed of light constant, 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters divided by 1 second. Okay? So are we cool with that? Yeah. Okay, so joules cancels with joules, seconds with seconds, and meters with meters. So we're just left with the number of photons, okay? So whatever number we get, that's going to be the number of photons, okay? Do you have a question? Um, I was going to ask you to have that units, but you figured out that there Yeah, it's just the number of photons, okay? So it's just number. That's what it's looking for. So, four, second, and I get for my answer. 121 photons. Okay? So that's the three significant figures because this and that are both the three significant figures. Any questions on that one? No. Okay. This is a pretty good problem. It kind of puts a couple of different equations together. So. Can we kill it?